Hello everyone, I am Katerina, one of the guides of Terra Azul, and today I'm here to answer the question, do whales and dolphins go to sleep? So most of this uh, question has been researched with captive dolphins uh, or captive animals, which just happen to be dolphins all the time. Uh, so the, in whales, we just know from observational data, not from uh, physiological measurements. But we know that dolphins, they do sleep, but they sleep in a different way than we do because we go into what is called the REM sleep, so we go into very deep sleep, and they don't really do it like that. So, if you're a dolphin, or if you live in the ocean, you always have to be somewhat alert to what's happening around you. You never know when a predator might arrive, or you also don't want to get lost from your group. So, what happens is that they have two hemispheres in the brain, just like we do, and they shut down one of the hemispheres, so uh, the brain activity slows down a bit, it doesn't completely go off. Uh, so it slows down a little bit. And the opposite eye of that hemisphere of the brain is open. So with the open eye, they can keep looking out for predators and for their friends to stay together with their friends. So there are two ways uh, to study the animals to answer this question. One of them are uh, observational data, so you look at their behavior. The other way is to uh, actually measure the brain activity like we would do uh, with humans. Uh, the measurement of brain activity can only be done in captive dolphins, so a lot of what we know actually comes from there, which might be slightly different than what happens in the wild. So from the captive dolphins, we know that they have two hemispheres in the brain, just like we have, and they tend to slow down the activity in one half while keeping the opposite eye open. So they are still able to follow their group and to see if there's any predators around and also to remember to keep breeding because uh, dolphins uh, breeding is conscious. They have to think it's time to come back to the surface. Um, and so they never really, really fall completely asleep. Uh, and they stay in this state for a few minutes and then they wake up and they move again and maybe they will go uh, and start um, changing the halves of the, of the brain that they use. Um, in observational state, that corresponds to a state where the dolphins are very quiet, they always move, they don't really stop swimming, uh, they're very quiet staying at the surface and uh, for a few minutes they're just like that, they just look like they are floating. And then they move again and they start swimming a bit faster until they go back to this state. With baby dolphins and mothers, they seem not to uh, sleep so much because they always need to keep uh, in touch with each other, um, especially important in that stage of their lives. But it looks like as well, the bigger the animals, the more they can actually uh, sleep. So with whales, once again, we don't know so well how their brain is working, but uh, humpback whales especially, they are seen just floating like a log for hours. Uh, they can, boats can approach them and they don't move at all. So it seems like that the bigger the animals, the less they have to be maybe concerned about predators and so they can stay for longer periods of time in that um, slow activity in the brain and uh, so they sleep a little bit like that. But there are still lots and lots to be found uh, and to see how actually brain activity is in the wild because of course the behavioral patterns are always slightly different than they are in captivity. So I hope this has answered your question. Uh, thank you very much for that and uh, we, are be we will be waiting for more questions to come. Thank you.